On today's episode, it's a TK8 special edition. I promised you an edge masking tutorial for Halo Control. Today you're getting that tutorial, so stay tuned. Hello everyone and welcome to the joy of editing with Dave Kelly. I did promise you an edge masking tutorial for Halo Control and today is that tutorial. Now there's going to be PDF notes, which I think are very important for you. You'll find a Dropbox link in the description below this video. Don't forget to click on show more so you can find these notes that are in there. And I highly recommend that you download them because they're going to give you step by step how to do this. It's really not hard to do as you'll see here, but it's so very helpful. And put them away somewhere safe where you can find them again for a reference in case you forget what you were doing to remove halos. These notes will come in handy. Also, in the description below this video, you're going to find a Dropbox link to download this image by Ray Dyer. Now, I've done a full edit of this on a past TK Friday tutorial. The only thing I've done is some basic Lightroom adjustments. But I brought it into Photoshop and sharpened it using Topaz Photo AI. Now, it does have some halos, and I'm going to use this image as an example of how to remove halos, especially when you're sharpening. Because we all know when we sharpen, no matter how good the sharpening is, a lot of times we will find halos. And today I'm going to show you how to remove those halos. I went ahead and zoomed way in. I'm into like 449%. But as you can see, see the halos along the edges here? They're all over the place, by the way. And if you look up here in the trees, you're going to find halos up in the trees on the edges. But you're going to find out. We can get rid of these fairly easily with the TK8 plugin for Photoshop. By the way, if you don't yet own the TK8 plugin for Photoshop, just click on my affiliate link. It's right below in the description. Click on that link. It'll take you to the TK web store. You could purchase training videos, the TK8 plugin for Photoshop. And if you use my promo code, DK15, you'll save 15% off your entire purchase. You're supporting the joy of editing with Dave Kelly when you do that. And for that, I thank you. When I did the original full edit on this image, I gave you a image download. Now it had the halos already removed. And this video is going to show you how I actually did remove those halos. Well then, let's get started. The first thing you want to do is come up to the TK8 multi-mask panel and click on this icon that looks like a flower. This is where you'll find your edge masks. So click on that. And what you want to do is click this icon right here. This icon is for expanding edges. But you can see already it's finding edges, right? So let's click on this. Now this dialog comes up for maximum. And it starts out at a 1.0 radius. I recommend that you generally start out at about 1.5 pixels. And what I'm going to do is just highlight this and type in 1.5. And I usually type my tab key and then that accepts that. And you'll see here in a second. See, the image got a little bit lighter. And actually, the edge got a little bit wider. Now it's like a 1.5 pixel edge. And all we have to do now is click OK. But we're not done. Next up, we're going to use the mask calculator. So let's click on the mask calculator. We'll be doing an intersection. So click on the X and that's for intersect. And then we want to get back to the multi mask panel. Click this X right here. And now we can see the multi mask panel. Now we're going to use a luminosity mask. So let's click on the luminosity mask icon. Right now we're on a lights one, but I find lights two works really well. So I'm going to click on lights two. If lights two doesn't give you the desired result, you may want to try a lights one, but I find lights two generally is a good starting place. I went ahead and zoomed way in so you can see with that lights two, you can see the nice halo, which isn't so nice for us, but we're going to get rid of it around the edges so you can see it there. And this is why I chose lights two because I can see all those edges showing up in light. Do you see them there? And that's what I want to target, not the darker areas. So it's good that I'm isolating those lighter areas. And I hope that makes sense to you. And now I'm zoomed back out. Now we need to finish our calculation. Remember, we're doing an intersection. We're intersecting that edge mask with a lights too. So click equals. Now watch what happens. Look how our edges are all nicely detected on this image. But we are still not done. We can do some further refinements. 
If you watch my TK Friday videos, you know I like to use the levels adjustment for refinements. So click on the levels icon. And now I'm going to take, and I always like to start here for these edge masks, the highlight slider and drag it to the left. And what we want to do is try to make these edges as light as we possibly can. So I'm going to drag this over. And when I get to right here, 61, see how nice and bright those edges are? Now we can tighten this up by taking the shadow slider and dragging it to the right. And let's start to drag it to the right. We're going to drag it right to about here. And now you'll notice how we have really isolated the edges. Look at these trees and on these rocks here. And we're even going to work on this water here and even down here, but stay tuned for that. But now we have our edge mask completed. It's just that easy. Just a few steps here. And now all we need to do is output it. We're going to output it to a white mask using a black brush painting through a selection. So click this icon and there we go. You can see by the selection indicator that we have a selection. And you can also see that we have the white mask. Now we're painting with a white brush and I have 100% opacity. That's important. The shortcut to get 100% opacity is zero, by the way. Now make your brush a little bit wider than the area you're going to be painting over. And then just simply watch, paint those halos away. Do you see that? But stay on the edges. And I'm just going to paint away. I'm just going to come the whole way down through here. And we'll simply paint off all the halos. See them magically just disappear, just like that. Let's go down further here. I'll go the whole way down to the bottom. But check this out. If you click the double arrow icon, you see the edge mask. You see how cool that is? Isn't that nice? Click it again. You'll see the image again. Now, just go all around your image and find halos. And just paint over the halos, and they go away. It is really just that simple. I won't take up too much time and paint these all off right now because this video would get way too long. But you see what I'm doing here. It's very simple. And don't forget to zoom into your image so you can really see what you're doing. Okay, and here's a halo right here. But see all the halos in the trees up here? I can be kind of liberal and just paint all around these edges here, just like that. And those halos are going to go away. We're going to get to the water as well, and I'll show you what I do in the water. But you see how easy that is? You just simply paint them away and just go over all the edges. It helps to have a Wacom pen and tablet, but a mouse will do just fine. The hardest part is making the edge mask. I mean, there is a little bit of painting involved here, but it's painting on steroids, right? Because you don't have to be too careful here. Oops, I missed some stuff up here. But just take your time, and you got to really be an examiner here and examine all the area. I'm going to even make my brush larger here, and I can just go like this. You see that? and really do this really quickly. Just painting over all these edges just like this. And I'll just go in here. But take a look at the mask. Click the double arrow, and you can see I'm only targeting edges. And that's exciting to me. And click this again, and you'll see the image back. Let me go to full screen. I'm gonna click this button right here. And in the water here as well, it's a little sharp on these edges here, and it doesn't look, look quite natural, so I'm going to make my brush a lot larger, and I'm just going to go like this. Look, paint over all that, just like so. And all that stuff goes away. And even down in the water down in here, I'm just going to paint because it looks a little crunchy. But let me go ahead and paint some of this off in here, over into here. And I'll zoom in and show you what I'm talking about. Okay, Just like that. I went ahead and zoomed into the water because watch what happens. I'm going to disable this mask by clicking this X and watch that water and look how crunchy it looks. You see how crunchy it looks? There's the before and here's the after. All right, but check this out. Watch the water now. You'll still see it is sharp. I'm going to shut this eye off so you can see the original layer. There's the original layer and here it is sharpened. It's still sharpened, but it's not over sharpened. And then there's an area like right up in here. See some of this water up in here? I'm going to make my brush smaller and we can just paint off that extra sharpness on the edge. And it's only targeting the edge again. 
Now let's take a look at these edges around here, okay? So if you click on the X again on the Combo or CX panel, you can disable the mask. And you see the halos? Let's zoom in even closer. So you see all these halos up in here? Even out on the water in here? Check it out. When I go ahead and enable the mask again, you see they are totally gone. But that's how nice that edge protection works. And I just noticed I missed an area right here. And I'm sure somebody was going to say that. You missed an area. Well, yes, I did. I am not perfect. But I did catch my mistake. But there it is. Now, remember, I didn't do the entire image. But I just wanted to give you a feel of how simple it is to make an edge mask for halo protection as well as get rid of the halos by just painting them off. Don't forget to download the image and the PDF notes. As you can see here, there is how many steps here? Basically six steps. And it's all written out for you or typed out for you so you know exactly what to do. Hey, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please give it a like and share it with your friends. And if you're not yet a subscriber to this channel, please subscribe and click that bell notification icon. Every time I upload a new tutorial, you'll get a notification. I want to thank each and every one of you for joining me today in the joy of editing with Dave Kelly. And I'll see you all right here next time. But until then, happy editing.